So this one sticks out to me because they just tried dual sequential defibrillation that didn't work. And now they're moving to ECMO. This is one where, you know, within the realms of ECMO, STEMIs are on the list of reasons why you can't initiate it. This is a patient that gets thrombolytics, right? And and they they skipped a different type of potentially life-saving procedure. We can't go to the cath lab. We're too unstable. We can give them the clot buster medication. You know, like th there could have been drama there. And for most of us in emergency medicine, ECMO is not an obtainable resource, right? Like we don't have that at our shop. This is someone who would get TPA or thrombolytics or TNK before I considered ECMO because how niche ECMO is in the care of patients. But again, it's one where this isn't commonly available. So if you're watching and thinking like, oh man, we can do that at my shop. It's a lot to get somebody to do ECMO because it's not just as simple as putting in two central lines. They're not asking me to be the medical advisor to the show. I mean, if they want to, I'm here. But the patient I would have chose for this would have been a young asthmatic that was going into cardiac arrest that you could not ventilate, you could not oxygenate, their lungs were so sick that ECMO then is, that is the indication for ECMO. And that's one of the primary indications. And, and this one just was like a bridge a little bit too far. So 